Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at creating a bubble plot. So I'm going to go to File, Open, I'm going to open an Excel file that was saved on my desktop and you'll see that <clears throat> all of the sheets in the workbook are now sheets here in Tableau. I'm going to work with this birth life data so I'm just going to double click on that and it's going to put it into my logic area and you'll also see that it gives me all of my different fields and I have all of my different variables. I have country name, life expectancy, birth rate, the uh, general nutrition index and then either a developing or a developed country. So <clears throat> I'm going to go to my worksheet. The first thing I'm going to do is I want to plot life expectancy on my horizontal x-axis so I move that to column and then I want birth rate on my y-axis so I put it there now you'll notice it only like in a scatter plot it only gives you a single bubble and that's because it plots these as sum so I'm going to come up to analysis and I'm going to unclick aggregate measures so <clears throat> All of my bubbles showed up. Um, in order to get some detail, I'm going to drag country name to the detail button in my marks, and then I'm going to take my GNI, and that's what's going to determine the size of my bubbles. So I've got bubbles, but they're pretty darn small. So I'm going to go to shape. I'm going to make them, I'm going to color them in, and then I'm going to come to size, and this slider is going to make my bubbles bigger and bigger. So one of the things about a bubble chart is it overlays each other. So I'm going to go to my color and right here where it says opacity, I'm just going to back that off to about somewhere around 50%. And now you can see that I can see through them to see where they're overlapping. Because I added the detail card of country name, it gives me not just the GNI, the birth rate, and the life expectancy, but it puts the country name. So if I hover, hover over any one of the bubbles on my chart, I can see that this is Japan. I see my value for my birth rate, my GNI, my life expectancy. Of course, before you did anything with this, you would um, <clears throat> change give it a give your chart can't talk and type um, give your chart a um, a title <clears throat> um, and then say okay you probably want to relabel this to life expectancy um, what I'm gonna do is I don't have any life expectancies that begin with zero so I'm probably gonna start I'm gonna say at 40 and while I'm here I'll go ahead and change that and now it looks a little bit better right I don't have um, by changing my um, legend on my um, where my vertical horizontal axis starts kind of spreads things out lets you be able to to see it a little bit better. Um, we can't do much with this one because way up here at the top is a bubble for the um, Democratic Republic of Congo. So um, that's all you need to do. You got yourself a nice bubble chart um, in Tableau. Hope this was helpful and as always thanks for watching.